So people often ask me, how do I connect with angelic energy? How is that possible? Well, it's all about levels of consciousness. I know you've heard that before, but it's about different wavelengths and different frequencies. There is no good or bad to universal frequencies. It's simply that different things are attainable on different levels. So that's a roundabout way to come back and say, in order to work with the angelic, or to in order to work with the angelic realm, or be able to work with the angels, it's about reaching that level of consciousness. And you'll know you're there when things just don't trigger you anymore. You'll know you're there when you simply become the casual, conscious observer of things. And it's like you can see behind the mask of things that are happening. You'll understand that hate is usually an expression of fear and that fear is simply a blocking of love. And you start to see this in everything and all these patterns. And what that does for you is it helps you to become much more effective in your own communication and your own reactions and your own uh, level of, of awareness and what you do in everyday life. And it also allows you to see other people's motivations and what they are really wanting to achieve and how you possibly can help them to achieve that. Because the more people that you help, the more you are helped. And so you can, you can either put out the fire at the top of the flames or like they teach you with the fire extinguisher, you can point the fire extinguisher at the actual source of the flames. And that's what working with the divine angelic realm can do for you is it can allow you to understand where things are really truly coming from and not the, the mask that's put on the front because everything has a mask, but behind the mask is the true meaning of it. And that's how you can become empowered. And so it, it is just about learning how to step out of the, uh, the, the triggers that you have in everyday life, because we all have triggers, all of us. And you can start with trying to ask the question or asking the question, not I am mad at this person or I'm mad at this thing, but what is that triggering within me? And why is that being triggered? Where does that come from? Because once you heal that within yourself, you begin, you begin to stop observing that. And once you stop observing it, that's when it changes because it's truly your observation of something that causes it to be true. In quantum physics, they have proven that nothing exists until someone observes it. So once you stop observing it, it stops being. And once you start observing the new thing, that's when that stops being. I know that's really deep, but it's really the truth. It's really where things come from. It's the type of things that I'm really working with and understanding more and more and, and uh, really delving into for myself. If you're interested in learning more, I would love for you to join my free Facebook group, private Facebook group, Divine Angelic Manifestors. I'll put the link uh, somewhere here in the description. would love for you to join. Love, peace, and release.